move over Princes Harry and William, it turns out the Queen's favorite grandchild is actually 15-year-old Lady Louise Windsor. The young royal, who is the eldest child of Prince Edward, 55, and Sophie, Countess of Wessex, 54, has been Her Majesty's most loved guest at Balmoral this summer. The young royal, who is 13th in line to the throne, has helped take the Queen's mind off the ghastly Epstein business, not to mention the Prime Minister's unpredictable behavior. The Wessex family, which also includes Louise's 11-year-old brother James, Viscount Severn, just left the Scottish estate after a 10-day stay. Louise spent valuable family time with the Queen, and for three days running was chosen to accompany the Sovereign as they enjoyed a gentle horse ride in the hills above the castle. While the Queen, 93, wore just a headscarf, Louise was more safely attired in a protective hard hat, and her mother accompanied her on just one of the rides. A royal insider said, the Queen loves the fact that Louise and James relish their time at Balmoral, and she has become particularly close to Louise, who seems to have become her favorite grandchild, closely followed by James. Louise also endeared herself to everyone by looking after William and Kate's children when they were up here. Louise loves drawing and sketching and was very patiently trying to get Charlotte to do pictures of rabbits and deer. Because of her obvious artistic skill, the Queen allowed Louise to look through some of the collection of Queen Victoria's Highlands sketches which are kept at Balmoral but are rarely dug out these days. Ingrid Seward previously told Fabulous Digital that the Queen likes ordinary people more than she does those that pander to her. Lady Louise, who is 16 in November, was born prematurely at Frimley Park Hospital in Surrey and was delivered by emergency C-section. She previously attended school in Windsor before moving to an ASCII school near to her parents' home, Bagshot Park. James is said to have also delighted his grandmother with his dexterity casting for salmon in the River Dee during the Balmoral trip. The source continued, his enthusiasm for fly fishing delighted Her Majesty because it's a sport beloved of James's great granny, the late Queen Mother. James was in the Dee as often as possible, waders up to his armpits. His mother Sophie, who is a keen fisherwoman herself, liked to stand with him. The Balmoral Gillies, gamekeepers, were impressed with both of them. Edward is not as keen because he's not as patient, which you need to be when fishing for salmon, even in the plentiful D. Confident James, who is 12th in line to the throne, also showed off his love of another royal traditional at Balmoral, barbecuing. The source said, he's rather good at flipping burgers and liked to get fully involved whenever there was a family barbecue at Balmoral. That used to be Prince Philip's domain, but is less so these days. Earlier in the summer, James was spotted driving a Land Rover in the grounds of Windsor Castle, with his mum in the passenger seat. The Queen has eight grandchildren, William and Harry from Charles, Peter Phillips and Zara Tyndall from Anne, Eugenie and Beatrice from Andrew, and Louise and James from Edward. The atmosphere is likely to be less bucolic this week, when Prince Harry, 34, and Meghan, 38, are said to be due to visit. This will mark the first time the Duchess of Sussex has been to the estate, which the Queen escapes to every summer. The Balmoral staff will have their work cut out trying to find something to amuse Meghan that does not involve wildlife, as fishing or shooting deer or grouse are typical pastimes there. The Sussex family will miss out on spending time at Balmoral with Prince William. Kate Middleton and their three kids, who flew up to Scotland to visit last week. Buckingham Palace was contacted but declined to comment. We previously shared how the Queen is fonder of Zara and Mike Tyndall than Kate Middleton and Prince William. Meanwhile, we revealed the Queen orders takeaway fish and chips when she is at Balmoral. Queen Elizabeth is an impartial head of state but seems to have picked up a favorite among her grandchildren, a royal source shockingly claimed. The past weeks spent at Balmoral Castle has helped the Queen getting closer and closer to two of her grandchildren, Lady Louise Windsor and James, Viscount Severn.
the two children of the monarch's youngest son, Prince Edward, and Sophie Wessex are said to have conquered the Queen's heart with their love for the Scottish retreat, kind personalities and outstanding abilities. But it is Lady Louise who seems to be taking the crown of the favorite grandchild of the Queen, according to one unnamed source. One insider told The Sun, the Queen loves the fact that Louise and James relish their time at Balmoral, and she has become particularly close to Louise, who seems to have become her favorite grandchild, closely followed by James. Lady Louise, who will turn 16 in November, has stood out among the monarch's eight grandchildren for her desire to spend time with the Queen, artistic skills and patience with little Princess Charlotte. The source continued, Louise also endeared herself to everyone by looking after William and Kate's children when they were up here. Louise loves drawing and sketching and was very patiently trying to get Charlotte to do pictures of rabbits and deer. Because of her obvious artistic skill, the Queen allowed Louise to look through some of the collection of Queen Victoria's Highlands sketches which are kept at Balmoral but are rarely dug out these days. Edward and Sophie Wessex spent several weeks at Balmoral this summer, during which were spotted horse riding, fishing, taking a walk and going to church with the Queen. And Lady Louise was chosen for three days running to accompany the Queen in a hack in the hills above her residence. The monarch is also believed to have been impressed by James's enthusiasm for fly fishing, a sport adored by the late Queen Mother, as he spent most of his free time on River Dee. The source said, his enthusiasm for fly fishing delighted Her Majesty because it's a sport beloved of James's great granny, the late Queen Mother. James was in the Dee as often as possible, waders up to his armpits. His mother Sophie who is a keen fisherwoman herself, liked to stand with him. The Balmoral gamekeepers were impressed with both of them. Edward is not as keen because he's not as patient, which you need to be when fishing for salmon, even in the plentiful D. But James may have also attracted the attention of Prince Philip for his barbecuing skills, the source added. They said, he's rather good at flipping burgers and liked to get fully involved whenever there was a family barbecue at Balmoral. That used to be Prince Philip's domain, but is less so these days. News of the Queen's affection for the young Wessex comes after a different source claimed the head of state would love to see Sophie becoming Meghan Markle's unofficial mentor. They told Grazia magazine, the Queen likes the idea of Sophie being an unofficial mentor to Meghan. Sophie is often at Windsor taking the kids riding on the Queen's horses and playing at the castle. It's a quiet lifestyle, very much the kind Harry and Meghan want for their little one. The Countess and the Duchess also share a similar past, as they both had careers of their own for years before getting married. 